heart speed to the city streets we begin to feel so we have a new video again iPhone 11 with the error code 4013 again so let's start to repair the phone so I use a buckwheat filled bag I warm up in the, in the microwave for five minutes then five minutes on the phone to soften up the heat adhesive so we can easily open the phone I use a suction cup uh, tweezers here so I can use force from both sides to get at the same time to detach the display from the chassis so my method is so I can get the suction cups uh, near as possible to the charging port that's the best place to start opening the iPhones once there is enough gaps so where I can put some uh, isopropyl alcohol or IPA uh, to that gap the reason is that the isopropyl alcohol uh, dissolves the adhesive and makes it easier to open up so it makes it less sticky so the error on this phone was again uh, boot looping so it means that the Apple logo keeps coming up on the screen and doesn't disappear at all and the phone doesn't start up and once I put it to the restore mode the Apple devices software gave me an error 4013 could not restore the phone so this probably and most likely always means uh, that the proximity sensor has suffered damage to the moisture and that causes corrosion on the chip and causes it to short and the phone going to a boot loop easy fix to this is just to replace the proximity sensor the price of the sens new sensor or third-party sensor is about 18 euros so not big of price considering that this phone currently is going on the market as used for about 400 euros again uh, the Apple repair shop uh, said that this phone is unfixable and they cannot do anything to it so it was brought to me once you got the screen open you can start your repairs first let's start by uh, confirming our diagnosis that it is actually the proximity sensor there's an easy way to do this you, you uh, remove the battery connector first always remove the battery connection first before you start any repairs because if you have the battery connector connected and you for example uh, remove the display cable it will break your display so never ever take the risk of breaking your stuff or somebody else's stuff and then the easiest way to diagnose it if it's the proximity sensor is simply removing the proximity sensor it is attached by one cable to the display and the phone can start up without the display uh, without the proximity sensor now that I have removed the metal shields that keeps the connectors in place remove the battery connector once this is done we can proceed moving the proximity sensor cable it's located here okay now we can plug back the battery connector and test if the phone works exciting does it work yes it boots up so now the phone is working 
Now we're gonna start start by cleaning up the old adhesive. Uh, the better job you do on this, the better chance you get that the new glue will bond with the chassis and will create a nice tight seal that will protect your phone from dust and debris and moisture. I use IPA, isopropyl alcohol and a cotton swab to do this and a little bit tweezers to pluck out every anything larger remaining of the adhesive. So you can buy adhesive kits for this. They're in, um, they come in a plastic that is a ready-made ready sabloon to fit the phone. I like to use glue uh, because I don't know, I usually mess up those things. I don't do those that, that much. So yeah, glue is better. Now it's time to remove the old proximity sensor from the display. It held on by a few screws. And always remember to keep your screws in the correct order because if you put the wrong screw in the wrong place you have a risk of breaking your phone or somebody else's phone. So how this 11 model uh, is different from others, it has a, a metal bracket that holds the proximity sensor in place. As some other models have it included with a tape or something. This one actually has only the metal bracket in it holding it in place. So you will need a small tweezer to remove it. Okay, now it's off. Now we can take a look at the small white dots are the places where the moisture has come in and caused corrosion and cause the short on those ship chips. So once you replace this the original proximity sensor with the third body uh, supply, uh, you will lose face ID unless you take off the chip from the original sensor and solder it on to the new part. Apple has done it so that the actual part is coded to the motherboard of the phone so you are not able to use third-party accessories or other parts with it to keep it functional but hey it's working if I get a working phone with uh, 18 euros uh, a spare part without face ID uh, I, I think I can live with that that you have to punch in a code to get access to your phone not big of a deal Maybe in the future I'll try to resolder that or desolder the chip from the proximity center and solder back on the to the new part. You can see you can find videos of somebody doing that on YouTube. No problem with that. If you want to attempt that, go ahead. This is not something that I wanted to do at this point. And it was okayed by the actual owner of the phone that Face ID will no longer be in use. Then we can attach the connectors again. Remember, battery connector last, always last. Otherwise, you run in the risk of breaking your devices. And don't use too much force putting these connectors in. Once they're aligned correctly, you will hear a small crunch that they are connected correctly and they do not need lots of force. So take your time to align them correctly and you will be okay. Then it's time to put the metal brackets again back to the metal shields, back to the phone. It was a few days when I was waiting for the part, so I didn't quite remember where this went or how it goes on.
a little bit struggling. Yay, it found its place. Now remember to put the screws back on the same way you took them off. Otherwise you will run in risk of breaking your phone's motherboard with the true, true hole damage. That the screw is too long and it will break the motherboard. But on this part, particular model, the screws were all the same length, so no issues with that. Okay, now everything is back together. Let's still test it. It's working still. Suspension. Is it working? Yes, it's working. Okay, now there's only one part left. We have to glue the phone up to make the seal again to protect it from dust and moisture. So that this don't happen again. Uh, on this particular phone, the seal was original, factory made. It was not opened before, but yet again, somehow moisture came in and ruined the phone. So be careful when you're putting up the new glue that you don't leave any gaps there. Do put, do not put too much adhesive, otherwise you may risk of damaging the buttons or something. Sometimes less is more. Then I use clamps to hold it down. But the uh, iPhones have a uh, little bit, they have metal things that hold the uh, display to the chassis pretty well. So the clamps are just there to give the extra force to give the glue chance to bond to the display. Clamp it up and we are ready to go. Hopefully this phone will have a long life and not end up in an e-waste bag. Thank you.